Hi there, today we're unboxing a mini IR speed dome camera. This has been sent to me by Azone to unbox and set up. Uh, not currently available in the UK, actually U US only. So quite a nice one to unbox here. Let's have a look what's in the packaging. Just arrived today. Okay, got an A zone warranty card here, a thank you card as well, get a discount um, for accessories, okay very good. A sticker to just show CCTV operating, a bit crazy big to be honest. Not the sort of norm and again i think i mentioned before you don't really want to see the the make of the camera giving all the details away user manual okay Let's see what we have okay first of all looks like some sort of connector block power lead okay this is good it looks like it takes one of those connectors that goes into a PC so I'll pull one of the cables I have close by out uh, yeah input output input is 240 volts so that's perfect for UK see the actual camera itself Wow. Quite a bulky product. Let me actually get a a ruler and I can show you the actual sizing of it. Okay, interesting. A few connectors there. Quite a large camera. Um, quite good because it's motorized, so obviously you can have it attached and sort of spin it around and have a look what's around you so quite a good concept so if we show in terms of centimeters so we're talking approximately 22 centimeters by around about 18 there so I guess if you install it You'd want to install it attaching like that to a wall and obviously drill a hole big enough to put all the cables through. So looking at the actual connectors themselves, looks like we've got a yeah, BNC connector here and a power one here. So straight into something like that. So obviously being BNC, a BNC sort of connector You'd obviously want to have a a system at the other end that can make use of this. So I guess you could probably connect it to the A-Zone system um, that I've re reviewed previously. So just another add-on to that. So let me let me have a brief look at the instructions and let's see if we can power this on. Okay, so. If we look at the connectors on the actual dome camera, you'll see you've got a BNC connector. I'll just take move the sleeving off so you can see it. We've got a, a power connector. And actually um, a PTZ connector. So these connect into the actual recording unit. So if I adjust the camera briefly and just take it towards the recorder just there then what you need to do the the orange cable
orange cable goes into oh let me just check goes into the positive just there and the yellow cable goes into the negative just there so you just push it straight in so I'm connecting it up locally but you can I'm assuming get extension cables for this so you can place it at a far greater distance so there's those two connected which are quite straightforward let's just position the camera again got a BNC connector here so I'll take that connect it here get the other end connecting straight to here okay and then in this instance we'll just connect the power straight over here okay so the camera has been powered on now first of all we'll let that initialize let me power on the actual recorder as well let me go to the screen let me move the camera as well it's going to be slightly tricky to demonstrate this all at the same time the distances of the cable so I've got it there I'll just point it in this direction let's get it positioned a bit better so you get an idea And there you go it's come on and there's a camera so let's cancel the setup now i'll position the camera just on there you can see it moving let's go into full screen and ptz control there you go pretty smart even has the zoom on there as well so what I'd like to test actually with this one is to remove the cables for the PTZ that are going into the actual recorder so let me position the camera just to show so these particular ones we've just connected now so let me power all this off again I'd like to just test it out without that let's unplug it all first before we do anything and to remove it let me show this as well just place the camera in a reasonable position it's literally I can get a lid of a pen and just push in and just pull it out there you go that's that so let's try it without those connectors I'm curious because I've read that it needs to be connected but I wonder what happens if you don't connect it will it work Maybe it's a case of um, it should be connected for the unit to be able to control it maybe. But let's see. Obviously it did come with this connector block. Let's um, just screw it straight into there. There's a ground cable there as well. One of the things they mentioned in the instructions is if you put this up, probably worth grounding it as well in case 
get a lightning bolt or something coming down on it. Don't want it to sort of, I guess, blow up. Grounding it to something would obviously help. So there you go. These are sort of all connected on the connector block. So now all we've got is the power and the actual BNC cable. So I guess in theory, the motor shouldn't really work, but let's give it a go anyway. So let's grab this again. Again, very heavy, I have to admit. Point out the screen. Process. I did see it move slightly. Okay, there you go, it's on. I'll take the camera slightly lower. Okay, let's go back to PTZ control. I'm surprised, yeah. It does work without that. It's a pretty good. If it does without that, then you can just use the standard, I guess, your BNC cable that comes with the cameras. So this is more like, I guess, this mini dome camera, more of an add-on to your existing system. So it's something you'd have if you just wanted a unit in addition to one of those standard fixed cameras that you can sort of just, I guess, scan about the area. And what's pretty impressive, I have to admit, is the actual zoom facility. So very easy to connect up. Um, I didn't know what to expect with it, but what I'll do now, obviously I've shown you how to connect it to up to the actual DVR or NVR, either or. Um, I'll actually set it up outside and then we can have a look at uh, the actual picture quality of actually moving it about and zooming in and out so let me stop there and let me somehow position this so we can control it okay just for demonstration purposes i've installed the camera on a pallet due to the weight of it just to demonstrate so there you go there it is fitted on the pallet so now let's go to the console and we can test out the functionality. Okay, so we're at the console now. Um, camera's connected. And let's give it a run, see how it performs. Very smooth action there. Move this screen a little bit to the side. Let's test the, um, the zoom out. Moving very quick. I think it's to do with the speed. So let's change that speed to one. There you go. That's better. And try to zoom. Wow. I'm impressed by the image. It's very clear. God, I'm, I'm shocked. I didn't think it would be that clear, but very good. And that's the full zoom on there. And I think it's 10 times zoom all the way out. Yeah, pretty good. Um, let's um, move a bit more to the side. Let's see if we can somehow zoom into that coat that's there. Takes a while to focus, a few seconds, but yeah, there. Not used one of these um, sort of PTZ cameras before. Um, and on first impressions, I'm, I'm very impressed. The quality is just phenomenal, high def. Um, 
and again the zoom quality is very good and I like the fact that this could just be an add-on if you fancy getting something like that for your current system it's very useful okay so let's zoom out again let's move a bit more to a darker area just there in the shade let's try zooming into that Wow, yeah, crystal clear. Very impressed. Okay, so let's end it here for the daytime test. And now the next one would be in the evening. So I'll again show it in the evening and let's see what the quality is like when it's um, sort of pitch dark outside. But so far, so good. Let's. Um, Let's zoom in to say the wall. wall just there. Yeah, God, very, very impressed. Okay. Let's stop there then. Okay, so the next demonstration I thought would be worthwhile doing was to actually show the camera operating under the web interface. Uh, in that way, you can actually see the quality slightly better on the screen as I'm doing a screen record on this. So this interface you're seeing at the moment is off an A-Zone system I previously unboxed and set up. So I've connected the camera to that and we've gone to the IP address, which is there. Uh, no password is configured at the moment. Beth and there you go, you've logged in. Generally, you'd see four cameras here if they're all connected, but obviously I'm just testing this particular one out. So there you have it at the moment. So let's go sort of full screen mode. And Right, so we're in full screen mode now, and you can see the picture quality is pretty good. Um, very sharp, crystal clear. So let's let's zoom out now. There you go, you can see in the bottom, zooming out. So there you go, 10 times optical zoom on this. I wasn't too impressed um, controlling it via the web interface. Sometimes it does get a little bit uncontrollable. But you just got to be careful when you when you use it. So let's slow it down a little bit. There you go. Once you click, best to let go straight away and just give it an opportunity just to stop. So not too bad. Let's zoom in to this sort of area here. Let's see what the quality is like. Quite a useful feature. I didn't really think it would be that useful, but um, very good, I guess, if you want to have a little look around, um, if you've got this set up. So, for example, if you're monitoring your, your drive um, and you see someone at the door, you could sort of, I guess, navigate the camera around to sort of see. You can have it up by your doorway, which is quite useful. Obviously, you want to have it high enough so it's sort of protected out of reach, but yeah. Very good, impressed by the quality. Hope that's been useful seeing that option. Okay, one of the things I wanted to show is I've not got the power actually connected here at this end. So let me show you the picture quality when I do that. That's quite an interesting one because I test, did test it a moment ago and a little bit disappointed. Probably, I don't know if it's because of the cable itself. So let me hook it up via this. Uh, rather than directly on the camera and I'll show you what happens okay so I've connected the power now to the actual cable providing uh, the BNC connectivity and there you go it's just connected there cameras just initializing now let me just position my stand here 
Okay, it's just going through a spin cycle. And I don't know if you can notice it, all this flickering. Okay, so let's show it a bit more. There you go, you can just see the flickering again. Just when the motor goes. So that's, I guess, interference because it's going over that longer cable run. So, no biggie, I guess, but a little irritation when you see it. Okay, let's stop the camera from moving there. Let's zoom in, see if that causes it all. Okay, that doesn't cause it. Zooming in doesn't cause it, so. Again, let me show you that amazing picture quality on the zoom as well. There you go, flickering again. So I don't know, maybe the power should be closer to where the actual camera is. Not the end of the world, I guess, but just something to be aware of if you're actually aiming to install this. So okay, let me wait till it's evening and I'll do some tests in the evening. Okay, so here we have a demonstration in the dark. So not too late outside, but um, pretty dark. So you can see the infrared's kicked in now. So let's move the camera slightly. Let's pick a, an area. Oh, let me go up a bit. It's one of those things. Oh, okay, let me take the speed down. One of the irritating things sometimes, it just moves so fast, but obviously you've got to remember to reduce the speed on the camera. There you go. Pretty clear. Let's go further into the distance. Okay, a little bit blurry. Let's um, let it focus. Wow, okay, that's good. It's very clear now. Okay, need to give it a second or so, I think, just to sort itself out in terms of zooming in and focusing. Oh, wow, I think you could even see, is that a snail there? So, quite bizarre how clear it is. And that's full zoom. So that's a times 10 zoom on there. Okay, let's just move it a bit more this way. Just at the water butt and the socket we have. So yeah, very clear, very clear. Impressed as well, very impressed with that. I can zoom out and again it focuses in again so it's good. So while that's on, zoom in once more. Very good, very detailed as well, very sharp image. Okay, so there you go. That's um, the night vision on there. See, so zoom out a bit more. You can see it all adjusting. So very good, very impressed. So next, let me show you um, very briefly the actual Android app you get with the, you can um, have with this. So, I'll just start it up on my phone. So just there, um, you can see the camera. Let me turn the screen off in the background. And again, what you can do, similar thing, you can zoom around. It's a very good, sorry, you can um, pan around 
the area and then you can zoom in like so and if I go full screen I'll go to HD quality on that obviously I'm connecting via my local LAN here let's get that on it's panning very good and I'm not sure if you can just tell it's, it's very sharp the picture so let's stop there there you go I hope this has been useful to anyone considering purchasing one of these uh, I have to admit um, like I've said previously never used one of these cameras or set them up but very easy very straightforward um, and shocked to be honest I didn't think the zoom would be as good as it is so times 10 optical um, zoom there um, and the camera is 1080p so picture quality is amazing so there you go thanks for viewing